we're just coming up on Mary Moore Park, which is my entrance to the Sammamish River Trail. so that's about as fast as the Rad Rover will go like officially under its own power before it cuts off is designed to go I mean that high and not higher for legal reasons I think right now that's just right now I think that's fine with me I don't want to register I'd rather it be just a standard bike and not require any extra <coughs> licensing and whatnot and insurance and registration and such like such as uh, okay, let's keep going. Alright, we're gonna go under this bridge. Whoa. Yeah. Under this bridge. Quite the nest back there. Something. And then up and over the top of the bridge. I'm really interested to see how the footage comes back with the chest mount. That should be fun. I'm going to try to keep my heart rate in the cardio zone as much as possible. Right now it's just under 140.
heart rate had gone to 130 and pushing it back up. Ah, 140. So the GoPro chest mount kind of rests right on top of where the heart rate sensor monitor rests. Which is interesting. Doesn't seem to get in the way though, so that's good. And I've got two layers between the two as well. I've got a shirt and then a hoodie. But even with just a shirt, it seemed alright. Not sure if any of this audio is going to be usable since it's just the GoPro audio. I didn't bother waiting for uh, or miking up. I ordered a a nice windscreen for my lavalier mic, so we'll see about using that potentially in the future. For now, it's just the Gro the GoPro with no wind protection, so it's <laughs> probably going to be hideous. At least the mic is generally facing where I'm speaking from. If I, or now I'm speaking straight ahead, and right now I'm speaking directly down toward the GoPro, and now back up straight ahead. There it is. The GoPro is sitting in the frame, the frame mount, right now. Oh, we're going to get that heartbeat up. It's a 127, 128, 130, 131. All right. Those clouds are making me nervous. I hope it doesn't rain while I'm out here. I got my hoodie on though if it does so but I don't have any fenders <laughs> yeah we'll see probably should have checked my tire pressure <laughs> before I left now let's stop and do that real quick yeah I could use some air but I think it's all right for this ride And it'll have to be. Yeah. Maybe I'll be able to find a pump somewhere. Who knows? I only have about 30 minutes on this card remaining for recording, but this is just a test anyway, so, all right, let's ride. I'm 
Yeah. Horses. Up on the Sammamish River Trail, there was there were several piles of horse crap on the road, on the trail, and over the course of a couple of weeks, it had just remained and not gotten cleaned up. Lovely. Well, not so lovely. Back up. It was at 124. There we go. I can't believe I forgot to check the tire pressure. I was going to. Oh well. of some sort. Thanks. Saturday afternoon, I'm going to go check out Rad Power Bikes in Ballard in Seattle. Potentially get one. I hope I'm going to have a well, I'm going to have a test ride and I hope it's not raining on Saturday. Right now the forecast says um, potential light showers in the morning. So we'll see. tree 4.4 miles from home one twenty two oh get the heart rate up
<laughs> right now my eyes are set mostly on the Rad Rover. Although the Rad Mini and the Rad Wagon look quite useful in their own respects as well. <sighs> but it'll be really nice to get something with a motor so that I'll be able to branch out and go further places without the concern of getting without as much concern of getting stranded because of a hill or distance so much I can ride as much as I want or can under my own power and when I need to I can kick in the motor to like get up a hill or to make it back home without completely destroying my legs. That should be nice. is heavier than my current bike so I'll get more of a workout riding it under my own power potentially I mean or just go slower but it'll take more work to get it going at the same pace so should provide definitely as good a workout as I want it to but provide that peace of mind and that boost when I want it to and when I need it to. <sighs> that heart rate back up is at 127. Whew. I think I average on this bike, I think about 12 to 13 miles per hour. Look at that sun. Nice.
Not sure how much longer this card will last for the recording. Uh, we'll see. I think it's still going. Well, if when it cuts out, see you later. <laughs> Until then, here we are. Heart rate. I wonder if that guy with the backpack has a pump. <sighs> Should have asked. Oh well. It looks like the this is where that poop was, and it looks like most of it's washed away now. There's still a little left. Crazy. Over a month later. <sighs> 